Positronium is a system consisting of an electron and its antiparticle, a positron, bound together into an exotic atom, specifically an onium. The system is unstable, the two particles annihilate each other to predominantly produce two or three gamma rays, depending on the relative spin states. The orbit and energy levels of the two particles are similar to that of the hydrogen atom which is a bound state of a proton and an electron. However, because of the reduced mass, the frequencies of the spectral lines are less than half of the corresponding hydrogen lines. <laughs> States The mass of positronium is 1.022 MeV, which is twice the electron mass minus the binding energy of a few eV. The ground state of positronium, like that of hydrogen, has two possible configurations depending on the relative orientations of the spins of the electron and the positron. The singlet state, 1SO, with antiparallel spins S. Zero, mis. Zero is known as para-positronium PPs. It has a mean lifetime of 0.125 nanoseconds and decays preferentially into two gamma rays with energy of 511 keV each in the center of mass frame. By detecting these photons the position at which the decay occurred can be determined. This process is used in positron emission tomography. Para-positronium can decay into any even number of photons 2, 4, 6, but the probability quickly decreases with the number. The branching ratio for decay into four photons is 1.439 2 times 10 minus 6. Para positronium lifetime in vacuum is approximately t 0 equals 2 m e c 2 alpha 5 equals 0.1244 n s display style t underscore 0 equals frac 2 h bar m underscore mathrm e c caret 2 alpha caret 5 equals 0.1244 tilde mathrm n s. The triplet state 3s1 with parallel spins s. Topic 1 mis. Minus 1, 0, 1 is known as orthopositronium OPs. It has a mean lifetime of 142.05 plus or minus 0.02 nanoseconds, and the leading decay is 3 gammas. Other modes of decay are negligible, for instance, the 5 photons mode has branching ratio of approximately equals 10 minus 6. Orthopositronium lifetime in vacuum can be calculated approximately as T 1 equals 1 2 9 h 2 m e c 2 alpha 6 pi 2 minus 9 equals 138.6 n s Display style t underscore one equals frac frac one two nine h two meters underscore mathrm e c caret two alpha caret six pi caret two minus nine equals one hundred thirty eight point six tilde mathrm n s. However, more accurate calculations with corrections to order O alpha squared yield a value of 7.040 microseconds minus 1 for the decay rate, corresponding to a lifetime of 142 nanoseconds. Positronium in the 2s state is metastable, having a lifetime of 1,100 nanoseconds against annihilation. The positronium created in such an excited state will quickly cascade down to the ground state, where annihilation will occur more quickly. Topic measurements Measurements of these lifetimes and energy levels have been used in precision tests of quantum electrodynamics, confirming quantum electrodynamics QED predictions to high precision. Annihilation can proceed via a number of channels, each producing gamma rays with total energy of 1022 keV sum of the electron and positron mass energy, usually 2 or 3, with up to 5 recorded. 
The annihilation into a neutrino-antineutrino pair is also possible, but the probability is predicted to be negligible. The branching ratio for OP's decay for this channel is 6.2 times 10 minus 18 electron neutrino antineutrino pair and 9.5 times 10 minus 21 for other flavor in predictions based on the standard model but it can be increased by non-standard neutrino properties like relatively high magnetic moment the experimental upper limits on branching ratio for this decay as well as for a decay into any invisible particles are Energy levels While precise calculation of positronium energy levels uses the beta salpeter equation or the Breit equation, the similarity between positronium and hydrogen allows a rough estimate. In this approximation, the energy levels are different because of a different effective mass, m in the energy equation see electron energy levels for a derivation E n equals minus mu q e 4 8 h 2 epsilon 0 2 1 n 2 Display style e underscore n equals frac mu q underscore mathrm e caret four eight h caret two var epsilon underscore zero caret two frac one n caret two, where q e is the charge magnitude of the electron, same as the positron. H is Planck's constant. Epsilon zero is the electric constant, otherwise known as the permittivity of free space. Mu is the reduced mass. Mu equals m e m p m e plus m p equals m e two two m e equals m e two Display style mu equals frac m underscore mathrm e m underscore mathrm p m underscore mathrm e plus m underscore mathrm p equals frac m underscore mathrm e caret two two meters underscore mathrm e equals frac m underscore mathrm e two where me and mp are, respectively, the mass of the electron and the positron which are the same by definition as antiparticles, thus, for positronium, its reduced mass only differs from the electron by a factor of two. This causes the energy levels to also roughly be half of what they are for the hydrogen atom. So finally, the energy levels of positronium are given by E n equals minus 1 2 m e q e 4 8 h 2 epsilon 0 2 1 n 2 equals minus 6.8 e v n 2 Display style e underscore n equals frac one two frac m underscore mathrm e q underscore mathrm e caret four eight h caret two var epsilon underscore zero caret two frac one n caret two equals frac minus six point eight tilde mathrm ev n caret two. The lowest energy level of positronium n. Topic. One is minus six point eight electron volts. Ev. The next level is minus one point seven electron volts. The negative sign implies a bound state. Positronium can also be considered by a particular form of the two-body Dirac equation. Two point particles with a Coulomb interaction can be exactly separated in the relativistic center of momentum frame, and the resulting ground state energy has been obtained very accurately using finite element methods of J. Scherzer. The Dirac equation, whose Hamiltonian comprises two Dirac particles and a static Coulomb potential, is not relativistically invariant. 
But if one adds the 1, C2n or alpha 2n, where alpha is the fine structure constant, terms, where n 1, 2, then the result is relativistically invariant. Only the leading term is included. The alpha 2 contribution is the Breit term. Workers rarely go to alpha 4 because at alpha 3 1 has the Lamb shift, which requires quantum electrodynamics. History Stepan Mohorovicic predicted the existence of positronium in a 1934 article published in Astronomische Nachrichten, in which he called it the «electrum». Other sources credit Carl Anderson as having predicted its existence in 1932 while at Caltech. It was experimentally discovered by Martin Deutsch at MIT in 1951 and became known as positronium. Many subsequent experiments have precisely measured its properties and verified predictions of QED. There was a discrepancy known as the ortho-positronium lifetime puzzle that persisted for some time, but was eventually resolved with further calculations and measurements. Measurements were in error because of the lifetime measurement of unthermalized positronium, which was only produced at a small rate. This had yielded lifetimes that were too long. Also calculations using relativistic QED are difficult to perform, so they had been done to only the first order. Corrections that involved higher orders were then calculated in a non-relativistic QED. <laughs> <laughs> Exotic compounds Molecular bonding was predicted for positronium. Molecules of positronium hydride PSH can be made. Positronium can also form a cyanide and can form bonds with halogens or lithium. The first observation of depositronium molecules, molecules consisting of two positronium atoms, was reported on the 12th of September 2007 by David Cassidy and Alan Mills from University of California, Riverside. Topic Natural occurrence Positronium in high energy states has been predicted to be the dominant form of atomic matter in the universe in the far future, if proton decay is a reality. See also Breed equation Antiprotonic helium Depositronium Quantum electrodynamics Protonium Two-body Dirac equations